Today's topic, CF Express Card by SanDisk. The overheating issue. And is it an issue? Or is it just, it overheats and it's okay? Because when you compare it to something like Angel Bird, it might not be as okay as people say it is. So let's jump into it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we're talking about the SanDisk CF Express card, a super fast card with some overheating issues. Now, I'm going to start off this video by saying that this card I am not keeping. I'm sending it back. And I'm sending it back because of my lack of trust in A, the card, B, the company. And that's it. Done. That is, I'm saying it right away. So if you don't want to keep watching, by all means, you know, move on. But if you want to know why this overheating could be an issue for you, well, you know, let's let's talk about that a little bit, okay? Now, I'm making another video. I'm going to be comparing it to these Angel Bird cards. I bought like three different types. They're super fast, super awesome. And of course, I'm comparing them with the idea of that overheating issue to see what is happening. And with that, I discovered a few things along the way. Now, the idea with the company, I, I reached out to them and they don't know what the sustained write speed is. 1700 megabytes per second on the read and 1400 megabytes, megabytes per second on the write. Now, when you're looking at that 1400 megabytes per second on the write, it doesn't always write at that. Now, that is the idea of burst speed. It'll hit up to that. The sustained speed is what we really need. And when this company sits here and says, we don't actually have a sustained speed, it, it, it really puts something into question. Why? And the answer is very simple. When you don't know why, and you just you know move on by the card, you'll realize that as you're using the card, sometimes it becomes sluggish. And when it becomes sluggish, you will automatically think it's the camera or something else with your settings, this, that, instead of thinking about this. This is what is causing that. Now, why do I say that? Well, very to put things in perspective, this overheats. Now, when it overheats, it becomes unpredictable. You don't know what is going to be occurring at that moment of its overheating. Sometimes it performs well when it's overheated and sometimes it doesn't. Now, when I did extreme testing on it to find that moment it slows down, which I did with the other cards as well, this had a significantly more decrease in speed on frames per second or images per second coming onto the card than it did when it was an overheating. And then you sit there and you go, hmm, that's interesting. So an example of this would be, say you are taking pictures and you're at 17, mega, uh, 17 um, frames per second. And then what will happen is it will decrease down to, you know, 14, 12, 13. And it, it's unpredictable. Now, when I'm looking at the comparison there, I'm trying to figure out, is it, is, it, is it decreasing to 500 megabytes per second as a sustained speed, 600, 800, or 1,000? I compared it to a few of these cards that are 800 and 1,000, and it's looking more like 800. Now, the idea there becomes, well, what happens in a scenario where you're using it in a professional manner? Well, what if you need the camera at that moment to respond 100% and you're not there? That is, that's something you got to think about. I also had this lock on me, so it locked the camera up. And I, I realized it's the heating issue. And as I was working on the test, I realized it's not the camera that's overheating, it's more the card. Now I'm testing this on the R5, so my mind went right to the overheating of the camera. And then as I was testing more and more, I realized it is the card. And to show you a quick example of this, on a typical read and write, transfer speed through a 10 gigabit speed connection through a regular uh, CF Express Type B card reader, you would be getting 894 on the read and of course 744 on the write. This is just a perfect example of seeing it working in a normal situation. Now, if we compare it to a overheating situation, here's your drop to 330 on the write and 159 on the read, which is uh, quite concerning because the read is dropping. Now, what's even worse is that I caught it going down to 75 megabytes per second on the right, and of course, 160 on the read here. And this is um, shocking, to be, to be honest with you. The good thing is that this card recovers rather quickly, and by quickly, not noticeably, you know, within the camera. So you wouldn't know this is actually happening unless you were looking for it. These are issues that will happen, and when you're trying to grab that frames per second at that moment, you might have an issue. On the other end, 
Um, this is okay for something up to an R5 for video. Your, your idea here is sustained speed for the high bit rates on the 4K 120 and of course the 8K. The idea then becomes well, what happens when you go by the R5C and say that has a higher bit rate. It might not. I don't know. I haven't looked at the stats yet. Um, I, I've just been watching other people go crazy over, you know, the pros and cons. But um, what happens when you decide to buy an R3 or an R6 or an R1 and when that comes out and you want to continue using this card for future cameras like those? You know, and I might be mistaken. They might not even use these, but I'm pretty sure they are. So the idea then becomes well, what then? The, 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 the thought process would be that that bit rate will be higher for those flagship cameras. Then what? And this is where I, I, I take a step back and I say to myself, what's, what's my length of life with this? Because this is expensive. The price point is pretty expensive. And when the price point is pretty expensive, now you got to take a step back and think about it. If I'm buying a card like this, how long am I going to be keeping it for? Now, in contrast, the Angelbirds, they came out with new cards, 512, same kind of card, with sustained write speed at 1,000, sorry, 800 megabytes per second, for $179, compared to like 500 or 600, depending on where you live. It's a lot of money. Big difference. Big, big difference. So the idea that I'm trying to share here is that I'm going to be doing a comparison video. I'm going to show you the difference in what I'm seeing. I'm going to show you where this really slows down. I'll show you those stats so you have a better idea of what you are doing with your purchases and your upgradability because this is critical and especially for people that are going and buying two, three, four, five of these or people that are saying it's too expensive but I still have to buy it and then they go buy it and then it's kind of like what happens when you upgrade your gear again and then the disappointment really, you know, it's a punch in the gut. So um, that being said, if you have questions, comments, concerns, discrepancies, leave them below. And what I'll do is I'll incorporate them in the next video if I see them there in time. If not, I will respond to them on that video and of uh, on, the, on the comments. And of course, let me know if there's certain tests that you want me to be doing, uh, especially with the Angel Bird cards, like those ones I'm keeping, I, I'm really impressed by them. So that will be coming. And I, I wanna just make this more of an opportunity to educate people on what is and what isn't when it comes to buying gear at the price point that makes sense for their budgets and not get, you know, all hyped up because of what other creators are saying or other people are, are recommending. Um, let's look at the reality of things. I'm super disappointed in this and yeah, like I want to test a whole bunch of other cards now, but I mean, I, I'm going based on budget. I don't want to be spending more money. I want to be investing in this stuff for the future and I want to know that it's going to be good for me and where my business is going. Uh, at the same time, I, I want people to be able to read those comments down below with the experience of different people so they can get a better idea of what they're getting into where there's more points of view instead of just my own. So again, um, like, subscribe, uh, comment below, and uh, check out these two videos.